So you girls spend a little bit of money, a little bit of change. Well, actually a lot of change on these perfumes, but it's okay because I'm going to be smelling fabulous. I love purchasing luxury fragrances, but I'm going to be honest with y'all. I do not like looking at my account afterwards. I'm like, Ooh, Ooh, girl, you spent that much? Like, no, 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 meow. So this is a long awaited luxury perfume haul. I actually was going to chop this down into two hauls, but girl, I ain't got time for that. I still have like two more hauls I need to do. So yeah, girl, we gonna put it all in one video. If you watch my perfume wish list videos and y'all already know some of these were already on my wish list and some of them were not, but it's okay. I'm still getting everything on my wish list, even though my account is like, girl, you need to slow it down. Slow it down. Before we get started with the video, y'all, make sure you like the video, y'all. It helps me out tremendously. Also, let me know what luxury fragrances you have been loving, girl, down below in the comment section. And also, y'all, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button because you don't want to miss a video from your girl. So, y'all, let's start off with a banger, okay? Dolce & Cabana, the only one. And guess what, y'all? I got this from Marshalls for $60. It was $59.99. And girl, I was like, give it to me. Give it to me, girl. I started to get two bottles, but I only got one. So if you watch my perfume wish list video, you already know this was on my wish list, but I didn't know if I wanted to get the intense or this one. Well, I actually thought this was the intense version when I saw it in Marshalls and I was like, let me just get it. I really wanted the original, but I was like, girl, let me get it. It's $60. It's cheaper here than anywhere else. But y'all, this is actually the box for the original, the only one. So yeah, y'all don't get it confused because I definitely did. I thought that this was the intense version, but it's not. Tell me, you know, I love a good black and gold mixture, y'all. I love black and gold mixed together. This box is so cute. I really want to keep it, but I really don't need to. And y'all, it's the detailing for me. It has the Dolce & Cabana right here. And um, it did come wrapped in plastic and it had a Dolce & Cabana sticker on there. Girl, the packaging is so beautiful on this perfume. I absolutely love it. It looks so good in my fragrance collection. I, y'all, I just love looking at this bottle every day. Y'all, I did put the little Dolce & Cabana sticker right there just because I'm like, I'm not gonna throw away the Dolce & Cabana sticker. Like, why would I do that? So I just popped it on the back of my fragrance. But y'all, this is how the bottle looks, OMG. OMG, it looks so good on my vanity. This inside just reminds me of Hennessy. It just looks like Hennessy. I don't drink, I do not drink y'all, but this just reminds me of Hennessy y'all. I love this bottle. This bottle is just drop dead gorgeous. I will leave a picture on the screen um, so you can see it as well because I know me holding it up like this is not giving it justice, but y'all it, looks so good and it smells even better i'm so glad i got this one because this one you can definitely smell the caramel this is definitely sweet this one is very like caramel sweet um i love a good caramel i don't like the cotton candy type of sweet scents i love the grown and sexy scents this is definitely grown and sexy and y'all i wore this on a date and i got so many compliments not just from my date because your girl be date. Well, I'm not dating right now, but when I was, y'all, I used to wear this on dates and I always used to get compliments. I've worn this on about three dates. Actually, the only time I've worn this was on dates. So yeah, I've worn it like three times. Y'all, if you wanna, you know, smell good for your boo, your bae, you know, your boo thing, whatever, this is the fragrance for you. So let's get into the fragrance notes, y'all. The fragrance notes is orange, violet, bergamot, orange blossom, rose, pear. Y'all know I love a good pear. Coffee. Y'all know I love coffee too. Iris, caramel, vanilla, patchouli. This is just everything. I love this. I had to get this. I was going back and forth on whether I should get the Intense or this one. I'm glad I got this one because honestly, I thought I purchased the Intense version, but this one is just, it's just it for me. Now, I'm not sure if I wanna pick up the Intense version. That one has more so of a coconutty feel to it. 
I'm not really into coconut, so I don't know, y'all. I got to smell it and, and see. But this one smells so, so good. It's the coffee. It's the caramel. It's the vanilla for me. So I would actually wear this year round, y'all. I would. If it's really, really hot outside, I will probably wear this at night. But, y'all, this one smells so good. And I'm the type of person, I like to get used out of my fragrances year round. I just don't like to wear certain fragrances in the summer, in the in the fall, in the spring. Some I do gravitate towards more, like fruity florals I'll gravitate towards um, during summer. But other than that, y'all, I like to wear my stuff year round. And if you do want to get used out of like your fall, winter scents, wear them at night like in the summertime wear them wear it at night you don't have to wear it during the daytime so yeah that's just kind of how i like to wear my fragrances year round um because i don't girl i pay money for this stuff i don't want to just sitting there collecting dust y'all this one smells so good let me spray it i told myself i was not going to spray these fragrances because i don't like spraying my luxury fragrances but y'all I just need a little, you know, this one is just so, it smells so good. I might as well spray all of them because, I mean, I'm talking about them. Yes, yes, yes. You smell that coffee, that vanilla. You also get some, like, florals in there. You get that violet and the orange blossom. Y'all know I love a good orange blossom. This one is just so good. And look at me with my little pink sticky notes matching my pink shirt, girl. I see what you was trying to do. But y'all, this one smells so good. I definitely recommend this. I think that every girl should have this in their collection. Now, I will say, like, you remember when Black Opium first came out and everybody was going crazy over Black Opium? I would say this is like the 2021-2022 version of black opium because this one smells so good and everybody's going crazy about this because it smells that good in my opinion this smells better than black opium yeah this smells better than black opium in my opinion so if y'all want fragrance reviews on any of the fragrances that i'm going to be talking about today y'all let me know in the comment section because y'all already know i love doing a good fragrance review girl i love it but this one, I feel like every girl needs this in their collection, period. This is just, this is just that one, the only one, girl. This is, this is good. This is bomb. So the next fragrance I have is a very pretty fragrance, y'all. I fell in love with this bottle. I kind of want like a whole mini collection. Well, actually, I want two more. So... Yeah, I definitely want the green one, the Dolce, the original. I want that one, and I want another one. This one is actually Dolce um, Garden. This one smells so good. So I actually picked this up on Macari. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I've had this for a while. I've just been kind of like holding out for a really good deal, girl. This was like $30 with um, free shipping, and when I got it, it was about right here. So yeah, y'all, last summer, I definitely was wearing this. I just never really showed it. I think I showed it on Instagram. And y'all, thank you so much for all the love that y'all show me on my rails. Thank y'all so, so much. I will be posting new fragrance rails very soon. I hate saying the word rails. I just, yeah, rails. But anyway, yeah, I will um, soon. So make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. I will leave it right here so y'all can follow your girl. Um, so yeah, I'll be posting more fragrance rails very, very soon. Um, back to this bottle, y'all. It is so gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This one is so pretty to me. And that's why I got another one. I'm going to show y'all which other one I got. So let's get into the fragrance notes. The fragrance notes are Magnolia, Coconut, Sandalwood, Vanilla, Absolute, and Fricapenny. I need to figure out what that is because I've been seeing a lot of fragrances have that note in it and I don't know what it is. I've been using this like nonstop, like during the summertime last year, I was using this girl, even in the fall time because y'all already know it don't get cold over here like that. Like it's, it's a little nippy outside, but y'all it's not cold. This one, y'all, it smells so good to me. 
And I got this for a really good deal. I got this for $30, y'all. Sometimes on Macari, you can find a really good deal. Um, sometimes they be tripping. Some people want too much for their fragrances. Um, but y'all, this one smells so good. I definitely got a deal. Let me spray it for y'all. Um, so I'm not like a coconutty girl. So this was actually a blind buy for me. I did not smell this at all. Um, and I was like, let me just go ahead and pick it up because it was such a good deal. Y'all, I love this. Now you do smell coconut. You do get a strong strong scent of coconut i am not really a coconutty type of girl that's just not my thing but when it is blended correctly when it is blended in with everything um i can i can tolerate coconut and a strong coconut but it has to be blended good like it has to be blended very well this is blended so well y'all this one is blended so well so i thought this one would be more so on the floral side don't get me wrong you do get some florals in here but that coconut will knock you out girl that coconut is just very very strong in here but it's mixed so well i really do love it and the dry down for me is just so lovely like i love the dry down this is definitely a summer in springtime banger so you can really smell the magnolia note in here um i really like that about this fragrance mixed in with the coconut you also get a little bit of sandalwood but the sandalwood is not like too crazy in this the sandalwood for me just kind of mixes everything together that's probably why i like this fragrance because if it was just great coconut and floral i don't think i would like it but this one is really really girly really not girly i don't even want to say girly because i think people think of like young high school girly but this is very like feminine dainty like i love this fragrance especially for the summertime this is just a banger this is just a nice pretty scent to me like i can just imagine me wearing this well i've worn this to work i've worn this to brunch girl i just i just be wearing this like in the summertime i just be wearing this girl it just smells it smells that good but I definitely see me wearing this with like a nice flowy dress, y'all. This smells so good. I love this bottle, y'all. So anytime I purchase luxury fragrances, I have to love the bottle and I have to love the scent. If I don't love the bottle, then I feel like it's not really worth buying just because I can buy an affordable fragrance with the okay bottle and the fragrance still smell good if i'm about luxury i want my perfume bottle to look like it's luxury okay and this one it definitely does justice if you love any of the dolce um scents from dolce and cabana let me know which ones is your favorite i know i'm going to get the green one i like that one um but i know they have like a yellow one they have a purple girl they got a bunch of these so yeah y'all this one girl smell it at sephora smell it wherever you can and i've actually seen this at tj maxx and marshall's um but i had already had it so i'm like i'm not gonna pick up two next fragrance i have is actually a travel size fragrance i saw this one at marshall's it was 15.99 i believe and i was like let me get it y'all already know i don't really like to purchase um travel size sprays just because i feel like it's not really worth the money if you're going to purchase a travel size spray i would say go with like scent bird luxury scent box or something like that where you can get the same amount of perfume for $14.99 a month and you can cancel at any time um this is not sponsored but that's just my opinion the only reason why i say that is because it's the same amount of product and it's like half of the price. Sizes are way too expensive. $33 for a small travel size that's not even an ounce. Like, no girl, you might as well just go get you some a 30 day supply that's the same exact ounce and pay half of the price. So that's just a little tea for y'all to save some money. But when I saw this at TJ Maxx, I, was, I mean Marshalls, I was like, let me go ahead and pick it up and smell it because everybody loves it. So let me try it out this was not $15 I would not have picked it up but let's get into the fragrance notes the fragrance notes is peach orange um mandarin orange jasmine orange blossom it's a lot of orange going on girl caramel cedar amber sandalwood I'm not even gonna try to say that go back 
wood i don't even know girl Let's spray her and see how this smells because honestly y'all i haven't sprayed this in a while okay i remember so when i first smelled this y'all i was like what is the hype all about first and foremost let me just say i do not like the packaging for this the bow just looks very childish to me i don't like it so i didn't mind having a travel size if you love peach i think you're going to love this fragrance you you also get some amber in there you smell the amber but you get so much orange you get like different stages of orange i think this is a nice college student perfume i feel like it's just too shampooy like you know how like some fragrances just smell like hair shampoo this kind of smells like hair shampoo like a fruity hair shampoo to me um i really don't see what the hype is all about um if y'all want me to wear this more and give y'all a review i definitely will but this is just not something i'm like i will go crazy over and a lot of people is, are going crazy over this well were when this was really really popular i don't i don't really see why it's okay i mean i feel like i have some uh, affordable fragrances that smell better than this it just smells like fruity hair shampoo that's all i can say girl okay next next fragrance i have is from oscar de la renta and this is bella essence this is the one in the gold packaging y'all this one listen this bottle looks so freaking good i actually just got this in a one ounce i got this on makari girl it was only 12 dollars with free shipping so you know i had got it okay let's go ahead and hop into the fragrance notes so the fragrance notes are musk patchouli raspberry grapefruit and jasmine and this was actually launched in 2020 that wasn't even that long well i feel like it wasn't that long ago um because time is flying girl but anyway um that's the fragrance notes this is a nice beautiful scent that's all that's all i think about when i smell this um i do think that this is a really good scent it's very 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 feminine i would say this is a nice feminine scent i definitely see all women loving this scent this fragrance the raspberry and the grapefruit really stand out if you love grapefruit you're gonna love this girl this has a strong note of grapefruit and also you do get some muskiness from this and i love a good fruity musky scent now i really don't get the jasmine in this that much like i really don't smell a lot of jasmine I guess it's just blending in with the other notes but i can't really smell it um i definitely smell the grapefruit the grapefruit is like the number one fragrance note you smell the raspberry and then the musk girl the musk comes out so good in this at the end girl this is this smells so good and i love the detailing on the bottle girl do you see the detailing on the bottle it's like a rose fence girl girl i love it a grapefruit if you love grapefruit you're gonna love this girl this is just like grapefruit city it smells so good i love it love it i can't wait to wear this during the summertime because i got this in the fall time and i was wearing it but i think in the spring and summer girl it's going to like that grapefruit I wonder if this will mix well with the Dolce & Cabana 3 Ellen Priest. Because y'all know that's my jam too, girl. It just don't last that long. But I wonder, I think that one would smell good mixed together. So we're going to try that and see, okay? So let's get into a blind buy that I was not feeling at all, y'all. I regret purchasing this fragrance. I'm not even going to hold y'all. I'm going to do a fragrance review. But I'm going to just go ahead and tell y'all now, I do not like this fragrance this is the box okay this is the box we're just gonna go ahead and open her up so y'all i got this one because i love the dolce garden so much i was like let me try this one so i purchased this one off of makari as well this was definitely a blind buy i blind buy most of my fragrances off of makari tj maxx and marshall's and stuff y'all this is dolce rosa excel excel 
girl how you say this thing rosa excel excelsa girl i don't even know i'll put it on the screen this i wanted to love this y'all know i love rose I wanted to love this so bad, y'all. And the bottle is so cute. It has a red top. And then the bottle is actually like frosted. I wanted to love this so much, y'all. I wanted to love this. I wanted like a whole little collection. I was like, and I'll get I'll get the green one. And then I'll have a red, a green, and a pink. Girl, no. This, I'm going to end up selling this because no. And I spent $40 on this. $40 on this this is a two point no this is a 1.6 fluent ounce bottle and y'all on Macari this bottle that I have is like $63 don't waste your money girl don't don't waste your money this this ain't it this this ain't it let me read y'all the fragrance notes the fragrance notes is that the right one okay yeah um is papaya flower New Orleans leaves white am amaryllis white daffodil white water lily so this does not have rose in it at all okay no rose scents no rose anything well anyway it don't smell like rose at all it no um this was actually launched in 2016 let me go ahead and spread it. i don't even want to because i'm that disappointed let me stop ruining my um videos because i'm gonna do a whole um, review on this because I try to do reviews on the fragrances I don't really like this I'm gonna just go ahead and spill the beans this does not last long at all and this is like $70 $63 on um, fragrance net and if you read the reviews all the reviews are gonna tell you it's so good it's so good so girl it's not it's not it ain't all that it don't smell like pretty much anything if you ask me you just smell a bunch of florally flowers and in an hour you're not gonna smell it at all i wore this i tried to wear this y'all i tried to like this no the longevity on this sucks it lasts about an hour you might as well pick up a bath and body works mist fragrance mist and put that on this girl i'm so mad i'm so mad about this fragrance because i really wanted to like this um because i really do like the bottle but i'm just not into keeping fragrances just because the bottle is cute so i'm definitely going to sell this on makari um the scent smells okay it's not the best it's not the worst it just it literally turns into a skin scent within an hour I don't like this it smells better on the paper than it actually does on your clothes i feel like on your clothes and on your body it just kind of neutralizes with your your natural body odors so in like an hour you're not going to smell anything yeah y'all don't waste your money don't waste your money okay i done did a whole fragrance review within this little section but y'all i i don't like it i wasted my money and i don't want you to waste yours so the next fragrance I got is also a travel size. I have one more after this. Of course, y'all already saw this, so I'm not going to speak too long on it. It's Marc Jacobs Perfect. I always want to say honey because that's all I smell when I smell this is honey. Um, like fl florals and honey, that's all I smell. Um, and almond milk, y'all. The almond milk in this is so good. Um, this is Marc Jacobs Perfect. I just have like a little travel size. It's still in my collection yes i'm debating if i want to sell it or not because i can't return it it smells pretty good though don't get me wrong it smells good i like the smell it just doesn't last that long and mark jacobs just doesn't do it for me so if you want to check out my full fragrance review on perfect by mark jacobs y'all check it out it's on my channel okay but this was like 33 dollars at sephora next item we have is from mr tom ford i actually hauled this in a beauty haul but i told you i was gonna haul it again because i really didn't go into detail this is it y'all let me put y'all on if you are not on the tom ford body spray train i'm gonna need you to i'm gonna need you to get get with it okay because they are so affordable and if you purchase them from the cosmetic company store 
then they are like dirt cheap. This is like $50. Like if you purchase it off of like Dillard's or something like that, it's $50. If you go into the cosmetic company store, this is $35, y'all. $35. Thank me later. I love the gold packaging. The gold packaging is just everything. I haven't thrown this box away. I don't think I am. I love the box that much. Y'all. This smells so good. When I went to the cosmetic company store and she let me smell like different Tom Ford fragrances because I was like, I, I want a Tom Ford fragrance. Y'all, this one smelled so freaking good. I will say Tom Ford fragrances are unisex. So some people don't like them because they feel like they, um, they lean too masculine. But if you want like a feminine kind of, grown woman type of scent i would say go with this one because this one for me doesn't lean masculine at all it leans more so um feminine but that's just my opinion so we're gonna go ahead and spray it this one smells so good to me it does have a a, a bit of a sweetness to it that's why i say i feel like this one is more so um this one smells so good to me this would not smell good on a man at all that's just my opinion i would not want my man smelling like this this leans more so of boss like a girl boss like that's what i think about somebody that's just handling their business this is just that girl like i like the um black orchid body spray but this one honestly is now my favorite i do want to get the rose prick and then also i want to get the one in the blue it's, it's it looks exactly the same but it's in blue i don't know how to say the word but that one's very unisex very clean y'all this one this one has a sweetness sweetness floral and then you get some amber in here girl this is it the amber smells so good in this y'all the amber the amber girl this smells so good i don't even think i told y'all the fragrance the fragrance is noir extreme make sure you get the extreme version because that's the one this one is i haven't um tried the regular noir i think they have a regular noir but i'm not sure you have to get the extreme version. The extreme version, I feel like every woman needs this one. Definitely like my boss babes, like my girls running their businesses, like entrepreneurs, period. Like you need this. This is just that girl. Like this is just like, oh, when you walk in the room, they're going to be like, she means business. Like she ain't playing this. Is just that girl like this smells so so good so sophisticated so feminine um and i will leave everything linked down below so y'all make sure you check out the description box because i always leave everything linked down below that i'm talking about so if you want to check out any of the fragrance notes on any of these fragrances check the description box but yeah and tom ford doesn't list out their fragrance notes they just kind of like make a paragraph and then you can you can figure it out by yourself um but yeah this is just very sweet very amber you really get a strong note of amber in this it smells so good y'all i'm telling you just trust me this one is the one you need okay if you want a tom ford fragrance but you don't want to smell masculine you want something that smells very feminine very woman you know woman like <laughs> woman like anyway get this one the noir extreme and y'all come back on this video and tell me how you like it girl because you're gonna love it you're gonna love it you're not gonna like it girl you're gonna love it next fragrance i have y'all i did not know this was a men's cologne I did not know that, but I'm kind of into masculine scents because I like to mix them with something really, really sweet and then kind of like mix it together and then it just smells so bomb. But anyway, this is Moschino Toy Boy. This lasts so long on the skin. This I'm going to say this is a cologne. It says perfume, but this is definitely a masculine men's scent. Um, I love the bottle though. Like... And I love the fact that the travel size like has this little toy head on it, like this little bear head, because like other travel size, they 
like that Marc Jacobs perfect like it don't even say nothing on it, it just says Marc Jacobs like it's nothing spectacular about it and it was $33 like girl and it's from TJ Maxx for $15.99 and I was like girl let me go ahead and spray it let me get it y'all I ain't even gonna lie I, I'm into masculine scents and I, I do like this one. I think I would have to mix this one with like Shagoff Oud because this is a very strong scent. This is very, very strong. Um, or I may actually give this to somebody. I'm not even going to spray it again because it's so, it's strong, y'all. This is strong. I definitely feel like if you want to give a man a gift get him this this smells very like oh i'm about to chase him down girl like i'm about to get him this is a nice cologne for a man y'all this this but i i think it's just too it's just way too masculine so i would have to since it's so powerful and it's so masculine i would have to actually mix it with shagoff oud um because that one is very powerful but it's very sweet um, so yeah, I had to mix that one. So let's get into the fragrance notes. The fragrance notes is magnolia, fleck, clove, amber, and sandalwood. I told y'all this is the men's fragrance. When I picked it up, I did. I was like, I like masculine scents. Let me try to mix it. But honestly, y'all, this one smells so good. I think a man would smell bomb in this. This is like a man eater type of scent like this is like girl get your man this if you don't get your man this get your man this and i do like having some masculine scents because i just like to play i like to have like different scents y'all i don't like to have just like one type of scent you know some people just like um floral scents and that's it me i'm uh, girl i'm all over the place i like floral fruity woodsy scents um spicy scents like i love them all girl so yeah that's just me but honestly i think i'm gonna keep this in my collection and just kind of play with it but i think this would actually mix really good with shagoff oud y'all i think it would shagoff oud is just so powerful this is very powerful so but i think that sweetness would kind of bring out a little bit like i think it would just mix so good y'all but anyway, y'all, this smells so good. Get your boo. Get your bae this. This one smells so, so good. I haven't tried the girl version. I know that one is like a um, see-through bottle. I haven't tried that one, but I do definitely want to try it because the longevity on this one is really, really good. So if you have the toy, I think it's the Toy Boy 2, which is the woman version. Y'all let me know down below how you like it or how you don't. Let's get into the last fragrance, y'all. So this was actually on my fragrance wish list. And y'all, I got this as a Christmas gift. If you want luxury fragrances, y'all, ask, ask for fragrances, you know, during Christmas time, your birthday, stuff like that. When they're like, what you want? Girl, some fragrances. Um, This is the Swiss Arabian Oud Sword now this one is actually 35 dollars, so this is the cheapest fragrance that i have retail value anyway um this one is 35 dollars. y'all know i love shagoff Oud. that is like my favorite 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 perfume of all time um definitely in my top three um so i had to get the a sword version so the box is black it's black and gold y'all know i love me a good black and gold bottle um so yeah the box is black and gold y'all i was so happy to get this i was so happy to get this the packaging is actually a matte black and then also you have it looks exactly like the shagoff oud um perfume bottle but this one has the matte black and then it has the detailing the writing in gold and of course the top is the same this y'all the longevity on this is really 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 good on both the shagoff oud and this one is excellent it smells so good now this one i will say i can spray up to four sprays and that's it with shagab oud i can only spray two and that's it because it's just too overpowering but 
I do think you can get away with spraying two sprays just because this is a this is an intense scent. This is very you know what let me just go ahead and get into the fragrance notes uh it's a lot of fragrance notes in this one um in shagab oud it's not as many this one has a lot of fragrance notes so let's get started the top notes is woody saffron thyme and rose the middle notes are um coriander cumin rose jasmine patchouli argo wood argo wood i can't say it um, the base notes is musk, sandalwood, leather, argilwood, amber, and vanilla. It's a lot going on inside of this fragrance, y'all. This is definitely a incense type of scent. Does that make sense? Girl, it smells like an incense. Um, one of my friends, Brittany, shout out to Brittany. She is not into fragrances like that. And when she smelled me when I was going into my old job, she was like, girl, you smell like an incense. And I was like, thank you, girl. Thank you, girl. Thank you, girl. Because I like the way this smells, y'all. It's, it's very, like when I first smelled it, when I first sprayed it, let me say that. All I can smell was like, oh, this is masculine. I was like, this is this is too masculine for me. Then once this dries down, maybe like five. Oh, I just sprayed my finger. Oh my gosh. This, it smells like an incense, y'all. It does. If you like incense smells, this smells exactly like an incense. I mean, a good smelling incense. Um, it does have a little bit of oiliness, but I'm, I'm going to say this and I just sprayed my fingers y'all. When you spray this, it's going to stay on your clothes. It's going to stay wherever you spray it at. It's going to literally stay there because it lingers. It smells so good. It smells so good to me. Um, it does smell like an incense. If you're not into incense, fragrances you're not going to um like this now if y'all want a full review on the shagab oud or sword i definitely will do it uh, make sure you like the video people like the video and also i will do a fragrance review on shagab oud and if you want a comparison video i can do that as well i'll kind of get into more detail in a whole fragrance review but this is definitely i like it though i like smelling like an incense like that's just me i love i told y'all i love all fragrances i'm not listen i love all of them um this one definitely has like an incense vibe um to it but it's a good incense like it's a good incense girl and y'all when i washed my clothes earlier today um, I sprayed this perfume like two weeks ago. Well, no, not two weeks ago. I lied. A week ago. And y'all, I smelled that perfume. I smelled this perfume when I was putting my clothes inside of the washing machine. Like I smelled it, not like faint. I smelled this heavy and I sprayed like three sprays. Yeah, this one longevity is really really good. Before I close out this video, I want to thank everybody for the support on this channel y'all we made it to 3k i appreciate y'all so so much without y'all this channel would not have hit 3k and i'm definitely looking forward to my channel just growing and everything and i just want to take time out to tell y'all thank you so 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 much i really appreciate all of the shares the likes the comments the everything y'all i really do appreciate all of the engagement it helps me out tremendously y'all don't even know um my numbers are doing pretty good right now so i'm really excited about that so thank y'all so much we hit 3k girl we hit 3k we are on the road to 5k period period all right y'all thank you so much for tuning into pink fluff empire and i will see y'all on my next video